Peace. So real quick, I wanted to take a break and share with y'all some perspective on today's mathematics. Today's the 29th. So it's two is wisdom, nine is born. So when we're talking about wisdom being born or discernment being brought forth into existence, you can summarize that as knowledge, knowledge. Because two and nine equals 11 and 11 is knowledge, knowledge. That is essentially saying that you have to be in a position where you can acknowledge what it is that you've been made aware of. So what this actually implies is people are oftentimes in a state of denial. So when you think about wisdom being born, one of the reasons why you may not see that level of discernment being expressed in a person is because they have not acknowledged what they've been made aware of. They're in a state of denial. A good illustration of that is the recent fight between Mayweather and McGregor. You had a lot of McGregor fans that still just don't want to accept that this dude lost. They come up with all of the different excuses in the book to rationalize why Mayweather won. Instead of looking at the facts and acknowledging what everybody's been made aware of, McGregor didn't throw a punch in damn near a minute. <laughs> you know, he wasn't equipped or fast enough to match the skill and ability of Mayweather. So now you have people looking at it like, oh, well, the ref stopped the fight too early. Denial. Um, let's see him fight in the octagon now. <laughs> Denial. You know, every excuse in the book instead of acknowledging what everybody's been made aware of. And that's one reason why you don't see wisdom being expressed by these people. And another thing that that indicates is something that's called cognitive dissonance. And cognitive dissonance is basically you confronting phenomena that conflicts with your presently held ideas or beliefs. So for example, you being told something about yourself or you learning something new that conflicts with what you believed initially or what you thought initially. Everybody is not just open to accepting that new information. And people usually go through various different stages of denial. And those stages of denial are in the form of reactions to that stimulus from the environment that conflicts with their ideas or their beliefs. Now, what does that mean? Say a person is, um, they find out about someone that they always knew and trusted as being honorable. They find out that this person was cheating or this person did something mad underhanded. Sometimes a person won't just openly accept that that is a reality. One of the reactions to that is they may laugh it off. And this is an example of cognitive dissonance. They may just laugh it off. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's one reaction. Another reaction is outright anger at being presented with this phenomena. So they may attack the person or whoever's bringing them that information or whatever the circumstance is, that is their reaction to it, anger. The third reaction is straight avoidance. So some people, when they're brought with certain things that conflicts with their presently held ideas and beliefs, they just try to ignore it. Like they ain't even hear that shit. Sometimes a person goes through all of those different phases before they learn to respond to that stimuli from the environment that conflicts with their presently held ideas and beliefs. And that is what you're possibly gonna see with some of these McGregor fans. Over time, they may learn to respond and accept what it is that happened. But for the most part, a lot of people just stay stuck in those various different states of denial. And that is ultimately one of the things that you can learn from today's mathematics, being wisdom born. Sometimes people are stuck in a state of denial and that is one of the reasons why you don't see wisdom being born or made manifest through their life. Why? Because when wisdom and born comes up the knowledge, knowledge of two and nine equals 11, they just simply don't want to acknowledge what they've been made aware of. So I will, this was inspiring, empowering, it was educational, and just gave you something to consider in terms of today's mathematics. Like I said, I just wanted to take a break real quick and share these thoughts with all of you. So enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, peace.